In this lecture, we are going to understand how to create login and logout system in Express application. So we are going to start by creating a design for this login system. I am going to add here a panel and inside it, I am going to add a title login system with some text. And just out of that, here I am going to create two input text boxes for the email and password. When the user specify valid email and password, I am going to just redirect the user to the dashboard of the website. Now let me just show you how this login system works. So I am going to just specify my email. So I am going to specify here demo email admin at the gmail.com and I am going to specify password admin 123. Now when I click on this submit button, this will just redirect me to the dashboard. You can notice here the route is changed to dashboard and I am going to have a welcome message on my dashboard. If you want, you can create a new dashboard as well for your website. That's upon you. Here you can notice we have a message. Welcome to Express Dashboard and this is your username. Now once you successfully log in to your website, let me show you how you can log out. So here you can notice I have a button to log out from my website. I'm going to just click on this logout button to log out from this website. I'm going to click on it. When I click on the logout button, this will just redirect me to the login system page with a beautiful message log out successfully. Now let me just try with invalid username. I'm going to specify here admin at the rate gmail.com. Let me just change this admin to add gmail.com. Then I'm going to specify password. And when I press submit button, this will just show me a message invalid username. Let me just back to my login page and at this time I'm going to specify invalid password. So here I'm going to specify 123. When I click on the submit button, this will just display the invalid username error message. And now let me just back to my login page. So I'm going to get rid of this route and press enter. This will remove the logout successful message from this login page and you will get your fresh login page in front of you. So this is what we are going to create in this project. So let's get started and see how to create this beautiful login and logout system. So let's get started and see how to create this beautiful login system using Express application. So I'm going to just back to my tutorial folder and inside it, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to click on this new folder icon and create a new folder and name this login system. If you want, you can specify any name to this folder that doesn't matter. And inside it, I'm going to create a new file with name server.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create my HTTP server. I'm going to leave this as it is. And let me first initialize this folder as npm package. So I'm going to open my terminal and enter in my login system folder like this. And just after that, I'm going to initialize it as npm package. So here I'm going to say npm init. And I'm going to pass hyphen y to skip all the questions and create a default package.json file. So this will just create this default file inside my login system folder. If you want, you can change these properties as well. That's upon you. I'm going to leave everything as it is. And now just for that, let me install some modules which you are going to use in this project. So here I'm going to say npm i for install. And then I'm going to specify the list of modules I want to install in this project. So I'm going to first install express. Then I'm going to install nodemon. Using nodemon, we don't need to restart the server manually. It will automatically start the server. Just for that, we're going to install EJS. Instead of using pug, we're going to use EJS as a template engine. So I'm going to say here EJS. And then I'm going to install Express Session. So I'm going to install the Express Session module. And just for that, I'm going to install Body Parser. This module allows us to return the posted data in JSON format. And just for that, I'm going to install the UUID module. This module is going to create a random UUID for your session variable. I'm going to install all these modules. So I'm going to press Enter. Once all these modules are successfully installed, you can notice in your package.json file, you will get all these modules in the dependency section. So your app is depends on these modules. I'm going to change this start command and I'm going to say here nodemon server.js. Save this file, close package.json, close this terminal. And now let's create a simple HTTP server. So I'm going to say here constant express is equal to require and require the express module. Just start that, I'm going to say constant app is equal to and call the express class. So I'm going to just create an express app using this constant variable. Just like that, if you want to create a port variable, you can say here constant port is equal to process.env.port. And then I'm going to specify the default value 
3000 just for that i'm going to create my first route so this is going to be my home route so here i'm going to say app dot get i'm going to create a get request for the root route and here i'm going to specify a callback function so here i'm going to say request and response and inside this callback function i'm going to simply say response dot render and i'm going to render a simple html page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder inside this login system and inside it i'm going to create a new folder and name that folder views now this is a default folder for this template engine so i'm going to name this folder views and inside it i'm going to create a new file with name base.ejs now keep in mind you don't have to specify here html this is a type of ejs file and using this file we are going to create a dynamic html so throughout this project we are going to use the ejs template engine so i'm going to create this file and i'm going to specify this file to this render method so when we call this root route i'm going to have this file as a result so as a first argument i'm going to specify base and as a second argument i'm going to specify data to this file so here i'm going to specify title and specify title to this file i'm going to say login system just for that you need to initialize this engine before you use it i'm going to say app dot set as you know to initialize the engine you need to specify a method set and using this method you can specify the view engine so here i'm going to specify view engine and in the single code i'm going to say ejs so this is the default view engine i'm using for this project just out of that i'm going back to my base.ejs file and here i'm going to create a simple html5 snippet so i'm going to press exclamation mark and press tab so this will just create a simple html5 snippet and here i'm going to specify title to this page as you know when i render this file i'm going to return this title so i'm going to specify this title right here so if you want to display this variable inside your html file you have a different syntax so i'm going to just get it of this document and add here ejs syntax like this so you just need to add here angle bracket and inside it you need to add percentage sign and inside it and inside it you can specify the variable you want to display at this position now i want to display this title so i'm going to specify here title like this and don't forget to specify here equal to sign so this statement will easily display the value of this title variable just for that in the body section i'm going to create h2 heading tag and here i'm going to say login system let me just save the changes save this file as well and now let me start the server so i'm going to say here app dot listen i want to listen this server on port 3000 so i'm going to specify here a variable port call the callback function and inside this function i'm going to specify console.log and here i'm going to print a message listening to the server on http localhost 3000 so when you start the server you will get this message with this link so you can easily open your server by clicking on this link save this file and start your server i'm going to open my terminal and clear the screen and here i'm going to execute a command npm start so i'm going to execute this start command using npm i'm going to press enter so this will just start this server on http localhost 3000 let me close this package.json and open the server so i'm going to press ctrl and click on this link so this will just open the http localhost 3000 so now the server is successfully running now just out of that i'm going to just close this terminal and i'm going to back to my base.ejs and here i'm going to create a simple design for the login system now you can notice this is just a few lines of code in this html file but what if you have a thousand lines of code inside this html page in that case your project is hard to manage for this reason i'm going to just use a simple programming principle called separation of concern using that principle i'm going to separate this code in different file so we can easily manipulate it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this code right from here from the opening body section grab it so i'm going to cut this code right from here and create a new file inside this view and name this file header.ejs and inside this file i'm going to paste this code like this save this file back to the base.ejs and here i'm going to grab this 
closing HTML and this closing body. And just after that, I'm going to create a new file inside these views and name this file footer.ejs. And I'm going to paste my closing body and closing HTML here. Just after that, I'm going to save both these files and back to the base.ejs. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply include both these files inside this base.ejs. I'm going to simply use here ejs syntax like this. And inside this syntax, I'm going to include my header file. So here I'm going to say include in the parentheses in the single quote, I'm going to say header. That's it. You don't have to specify the ejs extension. Just after that, I'm going to copy this header and paste it down here like this. And just change this header. And here I want to import footer. Let me just save the changes. When I reload the file, you can notice nothing will change. But you can notice the code is now more accurate and readable. Next, we're going to design the login system form. 